Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, welcome to a beautiful and glorious Monday morning. I just can't wait for Monday to roll around so I can get back to the studio and start doing what I love. And I hope your life is onwards and upwards, just like mine is. Today we're going to talk about Warriors of Chaos heroes, so you can get to making your Warriors of Chaos army. Blue table painting can take all of the effort and worry out of that entire process by doing your project A to Z, acquiring your figures, assembling and painting them. We also are quite the experts at, uh, at conversion work. We can do a single amazing centerpiece and or theme your entire army. Contact us at the email address given in the liner notes if you have any questions about the process or prices. So let's go ahead and go to Warriors of Chaos. This is, I do believe, the sixth hardback book for the eighth edition of Warhammer Fantasy. I'm a huge fan. I think they balance the game really well. They're creating a, something to stand the test of time. And you'll also notice that every single release in the book is currently available on the game's workshop site. Today, since uh, we only have a limited amount of time, we're only going to be talking about lords, so let's go ahead and dive right on in with one of the two, four, six, eight, ten, ten named characters for in the Warriors, Warriors of Chaos book. I believe there's only four or six that aren't named. So this guy, he comes mounted on a 50 millimeter base. He could just be a regular lord or hero, and it's an absolutely fantastic figure that's stood the test of time. There's really only one view on the Games Workshop site, and that's okay. And it uh, comes with this decorative base with like these chaos spikes coming out. It's done in fine cast now, which is a lot more resistant to breaking, and I think Games Workshop has made, gr made great strides in the technical issues involved with that. So. Uh, let's move on. The second one is Galrock. This is a chaos dragon, a, a, a mighty elven dragon that was mutated by, by Zinch. And uh, this model's a little gawky. It's old. Uh, it has some cool things to it, but quite frankly, both as a model in the game and as the physical model, I wouldn't necessarily go with, with this one. So that's our first D minus of the group. And, you know, I don't like to be overly critical, but there you go. Sigvald the Magnificent, he's a Slanesh hero. A pretty, pretty solid fig. Uh, definitely goes with a Slanesh theme. And, you know, bef before we go any further, I want to uh, whip on over to Warhammer Armies. And I just want to say there is a, there's, there's something to be said for the possibility of grabbing Dark Eldar Incubi and turning them into Slanesh Warriors of Chaos. You could call these Halberds, which would be a good choice. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Incubi. Yep, we're finally there, folks. Come on, look at those figs. Aren't those gorgeous? You just get rid of some of this techno stuff real easy to shave that right on off, and you have some amazing, amazing figures for... Uh, and not even Slanish, it could be Zinch as well. Oh man, that'd be fantastic. Uh, Zinch Warriors of Chaos with Halberds, that's what I'm talking about. And there's more that you could do, look at this. Here's an Archon, so there's lots of figures that could be themed right on in with this. Doesn't that guy look Zinchian to you? Oh man, that is, with the multiple eyes, the horns, the little purple flame coming off here. That is, and these guys would fit great on 25 millimeter squares. You just know it. Oh, and here you go. Here's your sorcerer. Look at that guy. Isn't that fantastic? And in fact, this black, bluish, purple theme, I think, would, would look really, really nice. I just have to say, that's absolutely, absolutely amazing. All right, so Sigvald. Next up, we have... Valkia the Bloody. This is a new release. It's in fine cast. She's on a 40 millimeter base, I do believe. Could be wrong on that one, though. Let's go ahead and just t take another few views here. You know what? No, I think I'm going to call this a 25 millimeter base. So this figure isn't that big. There's a model out called Nephilim by Malifaux that would be a really good stand-in for this model. I'm not going to show you that right now. 
As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of uh, alternate sculpts. Uh, Village the Cursling, this is another new figure, also on a 25 mil. It's a named character, would make a great sorcerer. Uh, you could uh, convert you know, off this little shoulder conjoined twin thing if you wanted to. That, that would actually be pretty easy. You just cut horizontally and vertically here, add a really cool uh, shoulder pad, and you are, you are in business for really quite a one-of-a-kind sorcerer. In fact, uh, reattaching this staff arm, I think, would be, would be a really cool option there. So uh, definitely the, some conversion potential. The model itself stands really nicely. Uh, in fact, let's go back. He had a, a sidebar here that I think is worth mentioning. This is a Warriors of Chaos Zinch Sorcerer. This is a plastic kit. Uh, absolutely fantastic. It's been out for a little while. Quite frankly, I think this would make a great Herald of Zinch on foot for a Demon's Army. He's definitely, definitely mutated enough. I mean, man, come on, look at that guy. And I love this dark teal and gold color scheme, highlighted all the way up to white. Scurf Green by Vallejo would be a really good color for a Zinch army like that. So let's go ahead and go back to our main list. i got to get through these pretty quick. Uh, we're not going to spend much time on Wolfric the Wanderer. This figure's been around for a while. Like everything else, he's back in fine cast. In fact, I don't even know why I say that, because the, there aren't really any metal models anymore. But this guy, this guy's really cool looking. Although he does go best with Marauders on foot, and quite frankly, those are a bit passe in my opinion. Throg here, weighing in at a mighty $58 at the time of this taping. He is really a cool fig. Uh, he's on a 40 millimeter base, and just really great figure. Huge amounts of mutations coming on here. He makes trolls core choices. Let's look at uh, let's look at the backside here. Uh, he's got these axes sticking out of him that shows, you know, oh, he regenerates. And so uh, Trolls as Core, that could be a really great themed army. Definitely a lot of potential there. It would be very low model count since um, Trolls come in in the mid-30s for their price point. And uh, so here we go. Let's go ahead and go back to our main list. We're only about 25% of the way through. Festus the Leech Lord. This guy's been around since the last edition, just now getting his own published model. He's like he's feeding this, uh, this potion to this poor creature that's just dying off right on the spot there. So very cinematic. Quite frankly, you know, one option here might be to cut this hand off and just call it a day and not have this piece. I, I'm not a huge fan of overly intrusive uh, base elements, but, you know, to, to each his own. So that's Festus the Leech Lord. Uh, he's a chaos sorcerer of Nurgle. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, Sila Anfengrim. Don't even know if that's how you say it. He's got a new model. This guy's had many incarnations, some of them pretty, pretty uh, terrible over the years. So uh, I don't recommend. He's not reliable. Random movement really takes the umph out of this guy. Uh, so we got Chaos Lord on Manticore. This is a plastic kit. And by the way, you can, hold on, does this kit also make the Chimera? I don't think, I don't think it does. No, that's the three-headed one. So this guy's, this guy's really cool. Uh, you can't just take a Manticore, so yeah, you, you need the rider on there. Oh, here's a Chimera while we're at it. While we're at it, great fig. And, um, you know, I, I think he's a great a specials choice for your, uh, you know, as a troublemaker, troubleshooter. Throw a, uh, throw a Chimer in there, and uh, so there's your Lord on Manticore. All right, let's go on to Chaos Lord. Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to steer you away from the duds here, folks. Uh, this guy's great. I've heard one criticism about his chin. He's got what could pass as a halberd, a, a hand weapon. Really cool built-up base. Is he a plastic? Let's find out. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't really say it. Oh, multi-part plastic kit, yeah. So I say yes, please, to the plastic kits. Nurgle Chaos Lord. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Ah, this is the new sculpt, and I just love him. Great Lord on foot. He could stand in as a champion, and that is that guy is the business. Warriors of Chaos Sorcerer Lord. This, this is a plastic, been around for a while. Absolutely fantastic, generic 
kit. It's got a little maybe Zangian eye going on up there. So definitely love this guy. I'd, I'd call him an auto-include in a Warriors of Chaos army. So here we go, Warriors of Chaos Zinch Sorcerer Lord. That's one we've already looked at, so let's move on. Come on, be good to me now. Just go back. Oh no, I went back too far. Here we go. All right, uh, Demon Prince. This is the kit that's been around for a while, now weighing in at $41. And he makes a 40k or fantasy version. Here's the 40k version. He's got this sort of Chaos Space Marine mutated backpack thing going on. Thank you. And he is just really, really cool. And down here we have a Chaos Chariot. By the way, this is a viable mount for a hero or a lord now. And this kit is really cool. Comes with lots of different options. The horses look neat. They seem to be consistent with the Chaos Knight horses in terms of size. Again, it, you can put this guy on a 25 millimeter base and call that a day. So I love these kits that come with the extra fig in there. By the way, you can also use put your guy on a Chaos War Shrine. I do believe you can put a wizard on a Chaos War Shrine. Yep, you sure can. And uh, I do believe you can even put any cut type of hero on that. So let's uh, do Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount. This model's been around for a while. Very Frazetta in its look. It has these little spikes that come off here. Those do tend to break off, so you have to be careful when gluing them on. You can leave them off, and it just has these rings on there. You know, to each his own. He's got this little mutated arm. Never been a huge fan of that, but this is a really great model. It has a lot of really cool shapes on it. And I, you know, you can just run them with your Chaos Knights and you are good to go. That is not bad for a Chaos Army to have a unit of Chaos Knights with a hero in it. So here we go, Corn Lord on Juggernaut. There's now these guys. Uh, in fact, let's, let's go back. So this guy running with some Skull Crushers could really uh, put some serious hurt on. You're probably looking at about 500 to 600 points just for that unit. They are rares, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. There, but there are like eight rare choices, so rare is going to be pretty, pretty hard fought. The new kit, the big guy, the Slaughter Brute Vortex Beast kit, quite frankly, I've been not hearing good reports about either of those as things to include. And quite frankly, I see them both as unreliable. Now, if you're going to get a Demon Prince for slightly less expensive, quite frankly, I would do... Um, I would do Bellacore. This model has been around since Storm of Chaos. It's a fantastic fig, and uh, it's really it's really stood the test of time. It's been in a lot of competitions, and quite frankly, I do I do recommend this. Think about this guy as your as your demon prince if you are gonna run one. Now, next up, we've got Chaos Exalted Hero, and just a guy on foot make a great champ. Uh, very um, very stylish. I think, uh, I think it's a good choice, good thing just to throw in there. And uh, do remember that you can get consultation if you are making a Warriors of Chaos army through Blue Table Painting. We will help you with every aspect of the army creation, both in uh, the planning stage, like what are you going to actually take in your army, and also in the execution of ordering the models and painting them up. Although we do just, if you already have the models, we can assemble and or paint them for you. So here's a Cahorn champion. Notice he has bare skin on his hand there. That is, that is a feature of corn. Sometimes they have like exposed areas. So pretty cool fig, relatively new. I think it's pretty good. Nurgle Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount. This model's old. It has some kind of cool stuff about it, but quite frankly, this is an outdated old turd. That, uh, and excuse that characterization, that smelly characterization. It's, uh, and really, you don't, you don't mount up your, your sorcerers. That's just not a good way to go. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do Zinch Chaos Lord on disc. I've never really been a fan of this sculpt, and of course I'm interjecting my personal opinion there, but if you change the staff head, that would be really cool, and if you switched out, uh, you can't get rid of the shield, the shield is 
fixed there. So, you know, you could switch out the head and make something original and interesting, but this model is a, a bit tired in my opinion. I think doing a custom one or having us do a custom one really is the way to go. But a Sorcerer Lord on disc is awesome, flies around, can take any lore. Uh, last time I knew through Lore Master, could be wrong with that. But uh, they can take Lore of Death, and that means Purple Sun right into the flank. It's a, it's a dirty maneuver, but it can be uh, just incredibly effective. So if you've got that opponent that's just, you know, he's smirking because he knows he's got gotcha, you, well, throw that at him and see what happens. All right, Champion of Cahorn. This model's old, clunky, uh, not as good as the other one, in my opinion. But uh, there you go, Chaos Champion of Nurgle. Uh, exact same comments, get the new one, is what I have to say. This guy over here, way better. I painted this guy up back in 2004, doing a commission for a friend. And uh, back when I was just starting. Chaos Champion of Slanesh. Uh, this guy actually is a pretty cool sculpt. It's got some solid features. There's only one picture, but he has a, he has a really neat shield. He's got little potions and elixirs. He's got his cologne. I think that's I think that's what they carry into battle is some different types of pheromones. So you don't know whether to fight him or be attracted to him, or if it even is a him. And that's uh, Slanesh for you. So mounted sorcerer lord. Again, I'd shy I'd shy away from this one. It's old and crusty and just not that good of a sculpt. It's got this little weird skull crab leg familiar on him. So there you go. Definitely not a good option in any any situation. All right, we're 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 almost done here. Chaos Sorcerer, uh, again, this is, a, th there's a reason he's at the bottom. He's old and tired and really, you know, I, I don't know why you would include that figure. And then last we have Dachala, who's like a 15-year-old figure. And, you know, all right, I just, I don't, I just, I, 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 I really can't say anything about this figure. But uh, Games Workshop is really putting out some really cool new stuff. They're keeping their game fresh. They're keeping their model line fresh. I just absolutely have to tip my hat to them. They are running it like a real professional operation, even though, uh, like everyone, they do make mistakes once in a while. And so uh, hats off. Definitely uh, consider Warriors of Chaos as your army. It's low model count. It is uh, hard hitting the, the mailed fist of chaos. All right, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you've got your ideas and inspiration for the day.